What's up, y'all? It's your girl, XP. And it's your girl, Dre Nicole. And we have a very special announcement. Your girls will be at the Black Effect Network Podcast Festival. Yes, absolutely. We're going to be there April 27th. And make sure y'all get y'all tickets at blackeffect.com. Yes, Horrible Decisions will be there, Carefully Reckless, Deeply Well, and many more. It's going to be so fun. So if you've never seen Poor Minds Live, I'm telling you, you're not going to want to miss this. So go to blackeffect.com and get your tickets. Period. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Drea Nicole. And you are tuned in to another episode of Poor Mind. Prayer, drunk mind, speak sober thoughts. We don't got no guests today. We don't got no guests today. Hey, hey! I just thought they wanted to celebrate. You be really giving auntie vibes. Uh, hey, 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 yeah. I, I want to shoot, baby. baby. That's me. Here I go, here I go, here I go again. Girls, what's my weakness? Okay, then, chillin', chillin'. Mind of my business. You're supposed to look around and I could Don't get me. Oh, auntie still got it. I would hope so, bitch. You're only 34. <laughs> <laughs> you're, like, it's definitely auntie, but it's not, like, great auntie. No, like, that's great auntie vibes. Like, here I go. Shoop is great auntie. Yeah. <laughs> what? Cause why? Cause was that a man or a woman that came on that track that did that? Both. I like your hair though. And speaking of auntie vibes, what? <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> <laughs> dog. This is why we don't do no solo. Cause where did that come from? I like cause I like it. Thank you. It's nice. Okay. I'm fucking with it. It's giving like Farrah Fawcett vibes, but. You was just talking about an old school song, so I was like, it's giving like old, old school. school. It's giving okay. 70s. Like, yeah. I'm fucking with it. So, like, what's a 70s song that you fuck with? Like, uh, what's that song? Because <sighs> I know you like Shoop, obviously. That's not a 70s song. What's no, a- I mean, yeah. Girl, to be with you is my favorite thing. Da-na, da-na. You know that song? I want to put on. My, 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 my. Fendi boogie. shoes. Not Fendi shoes. My boogie shoes. I thought you said Fendi no, shoes. No, I said boogie shoes. I was like, Yo. Well, my, well, I ain't gonna lie. I actually <laughs> said fancy shoes. Oh, same thing. You a little young. I said fancy shoes. You know what song I really like from the 70s? Um, It's by this group. Um, Such a good song. Yeah. That was a great song. That was amazing. And the first time I remember, the first time I heard that song, I was in uh, middle school. Okay. Miss Congeniality came out. Okay. Sandra it Bullock. On, it was on Miss Congeniality, and I was like, "Oh my god, this is a good song." And I feel so stupid, y'all, because for a long time, I'm just like, "This is how arrogant Americans are." Uh oh. We really think that like. We're the center of everything. Like, I just automatically assume every song I ever heard until I got older was, like, an American person. Oh, no, 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 no. I did. I'm saying me. Okay. okay. But I'm saying I see why people across the the world think that American people are so arrogant. Because Mm -hmm. for a long time, I just always assumed everybody was American. Yeah. So, like, even with that song, I was, like... I don't know. I was taken aback to find out they from they're from like Sweden. I don't or know where Switzerland. Exactly they're from, but they're they're from like here. Sweden or Switzerland, yeah. and it was two couples. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, okay, I like that. Yeah, it was two couples, and they're all still alive. Shout out to them. Yeah, mm-hmm. I like that. That's a, actually a good thing, you know, because they made some good music. Who the, mo- the mother kind? Them people are. 
Uh, they make. I like to whisper it. They had they had a little more flavor back then. You know what I'm saying? Like they used to really. Um. Okay. Did you ever play Rock Band? I did. You remember that song? Down, 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 down. I'm going crazy on you. If I was right. They from Sweden. They are from Sweden. Yeah. But do you remember that song? I'm going crazy on you. You never played it on rock band? No, I ain't gonna lie. I was really more of a rock band girl. I was more of like the, what's the one we used to be work dancing? Oh, the dancing. Okay. My feet move quick. <laughs> what they used to do? <laughs> Whoa, we got to get through this episode. <laughs> but I will say a lot of those games put me onto the, the rock music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they had they had some hits that stuck like Rick. Oh, my mom, but but see, that's another thing too. I don't know. I feel like you just have to have parents that are like cultured. Uh -huh. Because my mom used to put me on to like Elton John when I was younger. Like my mom really used to listen to Elton John, Boy George. Okay. I'm yeah. I'm You still, know a little something. Yes. Um, what was the lady name that was in Greece? Uh, Olivia, Olivia Newton John. John. Hopelessly mom devoted. See you. I used to listen to all, yeah, but you know I have like older parents too. Yeah, so yeah. like my mom really used to put me on to like a lot of music and stuff when I was younger and you liked it. It stuck to you a little mm -hmm. bit. That's but I don't know why, why but every music. time I would hear something catchy, I just always assumed they was American. I think because I thought Dancing Queen was by some niggas from like North Dakota. Shout out to Wiz. <laughs> <laughs> you know what song? I real I didn't realize Illinois. I didn't realize Minnesota was an anthem for white people. You know for, for white. <laughs> I don't. I thought they talk like this. Um, no, they say you know. Oh, I thought they were the ones that were like you want Chipotle. You know. Yeah. Yeah. You know. You want some Piesta? Is that them? No, that's a tap. Piesta. Piesta that sounds Italian. Oh. Okay. I, you know when we be like Piesta. You want some chip help? No, I never be like piasta. I'm from Texas. We say pasta. Pa <laughs> toilet tissue. Toilet to tissue. Toilet <laughs> tissue. Okay, back to what I was saying. I realized the white people's anthem. You tall um, Tisha, Loki. <laughs> no, I'm tall Tisha. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on now, dog. You is so. You I'm a tall Tisha. You a tall Tisha. <laughs> what is that? Anyway, <laughs> you a tall we got to get to this one point. Oh my god! The white people anthem is living on a prayer. Oh, I'm halfway there. Oh, living on a prayer. Take my hand, like John Bon Jovi. You did your motherfucking big one. No, it's that song by that that man with that red hair. Who? The one with the bro, I hate that. Like Ace, it's uh, what is? I it? hate that I cannot think. Of, uh -huh. I hate that I cannot think of people' names when I be trying to think of stuff because I should have did my research before we came. But obviously, it's the impromptu conversation. Right. That man with the red hair, uh -huh. the one that had that song from the eighties that everybody loves. Oh, what is it called? No, y'all, hold on. I know which one you're talking about. Lex know what I'm talking I know. about. He used to wear the bandana. He had the bandana. Journey the Groove? I know which one you're talking about. I know what Journey song y'all are talking about. Uh, is that uh, Just a Small Town Girl? But that's not the song she's talking no, about. No, it's not. She's talking about, I used to play this, huh? No. no. Oh, 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 sweet heart of mine. That one? No, oh, y'all. Oh, 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 sweet. It was child. like an 80s, it was an 80s anthem. I'm like, hold on, give me one second. It I'm gotta like, be sweet child. Because one mine. thing about me, I'm gonna find some shit. I'm gonna type in 80s anthem. Gun, it's not Guns and Roses, guys. 80s anthem. The Guns and Roses. Red hair man. Not red hair. It gotta be the Guns and Roses nigga. Cause he had red hair. Didn't it was he? Right, y'all. The main it was nigga from like, but Sweet Child of Mine was a bop. Who? I don't know who that man is. Sorry to that man. I can name an MC Hammer song. The man that had that song. Ooh. 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 
Come on. I won't go for that. No, no. But not him. No can do. I won't go. Oh, no. you, you ate but the But not him. You ate, you ate. I ate the, I ate the, the cord. Yeah. <laughs> What song you talking about? But that y'all, was oh my God, it would have been on the same playlist as I can't go for that. No, no. They gonna they gonna it drop it. It's all right. It's all right. Okay, okay. If okay. I think of it during the episode, I'm gonna say it. Okay, okay. So we gonna move on and catch up. What you been up to, girl? We haven't had a bitch. Song. I thought that was catching up. <laughs> <laughs> what? What the fuck? That was like 20 minutes of content. No, it wasn't. <laughs> We, I got to ask you what you've been up to, what's going on, and don't say nothing Ooh, about Oh, I can't go for that. No. Um, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> living life. Okay, what else? What is new? Yeah. Outside of the gym. Outside of the gym, I've been working on self. I've been doing a lot of self-reflection. Mm-hmm. I have come to the conclusion that I'm like, a very complex person. Mm-hmm. That's good. You know what? What I, do you think about me? Do you think that? Do you think I'm a complex? Person? I think this about you. Or do you think I'm a basic bitch? No, I don't think you're a basic bitch. I think it's crazy because I was having like a really bad week uh, weekend this past weekend, and like when we get on the phone, we be on the phone, y'all. Me and Dre be on the phone for like three, four hours, like literally. We were on the phone the, damn near the whole day Sunday, like so. I be thinking about our conversations and we will literally go from gossiping to talking about God and religion, talking about making money, talking about being healthy. Like we be talking about a plethora of things, talking about music. You better say plethora. Mm -hmm. I've I've been reading. Mm -hmm. I see. But anyways, I feel like, I think you are a complex person. And I think that's what makes- Why? Because I feel like- it's not just one dimensional. Like our conversations from the day we met though, it's just, we've always had a a lot of shit to talk about. And the conversations are, they're not the same. It's just like, we were talking about basic bitch shit then and now we're gr- grown women. Mm-hmm. And we're just, we are always discovering things that we're into like vice versa. Like I feel like I'm always learning from you. You're learning from me. And we'd be like, oh, you did this? Oh, yeah, sister, try this. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like we're always just introducing each other to different things and putting each other on different stuff. So, yeah, I would definitely say you're a complex person. Like, I think there's a lot of things that you're into in your personal life that people would never guess just because. Like what? Yeah, like, uh, poor minds only shows a certain side to us. (gasps) Okay, I found a me. Oh, my God, bro. You know, bitch, but this is the thing about me. I will go crazy if I cannot, like, be able to say what I'm talking about or figure out what it is I'm talking about, even if nobody else can find it. So, Mick Hucknall, Holding Back the Years. How does that sound? Holding Back the Years. You know that No. You never heard that That's song? not the white, that's not the. That's a white man. That's not the anthem, though. They not going crazy over that. You never knew that song? I mean, it's probably a good song, but I thought you were going to say that song. I'm never going to dance again. <laughs> Take my breath to me. No, no, really. Like, that was a... Oh, my I God. thought that's where you Holding were Holding Back the Years is a good song, though. If y'all got old-ass grandparents and shit, y'all going to know that song. Because my mom and them used to listen to that. Nobody was going to guess that, though. So. All right, bro. The comments are about to say something totally different. Because I thought you were talking about the guy from Guns N' Roses. That was a little closer. Because when I said Sweet Child of Mine, I just knew that no, was the song you were talking like, about. That's a good song. And I'm really, if anything, shocked that none of your white friends used to listen to that. Now leave Lizzie out of this. Leave, I'm saying. Leave my girl out of this. Friend, I'm surprised Lindsay didn't used to listen to that. But anyways. But back. anyways. But yeah, back to that. Um, What have I been up to lately? You know what? I have been into a lot of... I'm, I'm I'm getting happy. Oh, you were saying why I'm complex. Finish talking about me. <laughs> um, I think I said everything I needed to say. That's it. That's it. That's sad. That's I just it. talked about you for five minutes. That's it. Okay, talk about me. What you want me to say? I mean, do you think I'm a complex person? Absolutely, because I think you lie a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes you very complex. Lying isn't complex. There's only one no, corner of it's me. No, it's hard to get to know the real you because you lie. 
You be lying. I know you for real. That's why I be annoyed when you lie. Because I be like, you're lying. But why not? Sometimes a lie just feels so good. But I think to get to know the real you, yes, you're you're a very complex person. Like, you have a lot of different layers. Um, you have a lot of different things that make you tick. Okay, so... You're definitely... It's, it's like you're... You're sensitive, but you're confrontational. You think I'm confrontational? Yeah. Wow. When you get upset. Wow. I'm sassy. Lick it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is what I think, though. Honestly, when I be kind of like lying or not telling the truth or not telling the whole story, I think it's like a protective thing because I've spent a lot of my life being judged. Like, I feel like... I'm misunderstood a lot. So instead of me just kind of like, I, I dive into that more now. But like when I was younger, I was always different. And I felt like a lot of people didn't appreciate that about me. So it was always like, okay, I have to pretend. That's why I felt like a long time, like I had identity issues. I was like, okay, I'm supposed to be like this. I'm supposed to be like that. Because I felt like people was always judging me, you know? I, I get that. But I feel like everybody deals with different stuff serious, um, differently. Because I feel like I dealt with a lot of that same shit being mm -hmm. younger too. Yeah. Which is why it's so crazy that me and you are in the position that we're in now. Because I think we can identify with each other in a lot of ways. Like with stuff that we went through when we were younger. Right. Because I feel that way too. Like I feel like misunderstood a lot I feel like people used to judge me and stuff a lot but I think for me it grew into like I don't give a fuck yeah and then people feeling like oh she just don't give a fuck what nobody think or like she has a nonchalant attitude or like she not nice mm -hmm. because I give off an aura like I don't care which in reality I am a very nice person mm -hmm. but if you don't know me I think because of the things I say, it gives off like, oh, she don't really give a fuck. Yeah. And and with you, I think it it has made you more of like, you want to prove people wrong. I, or like you want to prove to them that like, I'm not what you think I am. I think for me, I agree with that. Yeah. But I also think like when people assume things about me, I just agree with it. Yeah, that's right. I, I do do that. Mm -hmm. So it's like, so you be like, bitch, you lying. I'd be like, because I don't care. Mm -hmm. If you, oh my God, Lex, I think you were so X, Y, Z. I am. I, I'm all that. I'm exactly what you think. Like, because I'm not about to fit, go, and I'm not trying to prove this and that. So I'm just like, yeah, that is me. True. Yeah. Yeah, true that. So it's like, I got to a point, too, where I don't care, but my don't care is, like, from a different angle that your don't care is. Mm. Like, What do you think my don't care? Your don't care is, like, you're not correcting nobody. You don't give a fuck. Think what you gonna think, bitch, because I'm that bitch. Like, I don't care. You know, like, this is who I am, and I know my heart. My don't care is more of a, like, yeah, girl, you right. You got it. You right. You got it. Like, I'm a, if I respond, I'm going to say, you're right. No, you're right. Like, you got it. You know, you're more so of a, like, girl, I'm paying you in dust. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's that like we're sense. both, we both don't care. We just don't care. In different ways. In different ways. You know But I, mean? I think it stems from the same place as what I was getting at. Like, yeah. I feel like it, it, you know, it stems from, like, being younger, being misunderstood, feeling like people don't really understand you, feeling like you're different. Because I always felt like people just never liked me. And I feel like, and I never really understood why, because I always felt like I was a nice person. So I never really understood why, like, I would always have, like, issues with, like, girls that I was friends with, guys that I was friends with. It would just always end up being, like, some weird drama. And I don't, and, and never because I started it, mm -hmm. it would just always be about feelings of other people or how they thought I reacted to things or responded. Like, they'd be like, you don't care. Mm -hmm. You, you this, you that. You don't ever respond right. Well, how am I supposed to respond? Like, you want me to respond? Is this the part of the podcast we supposed to cry? You know the... <laughs> because <sighs> growing up, it's hard. I want to be one of the podcasts that, like... I want to cry, too. I think that... We should start crying. We should definitely start Why crying. Why don't you say we should start crying? <laughs> Her too. We Ooh, let's do a card. Oh yeah, let's do a card. But, <laughs> but I know what is wrong with us. Why can't we cry on the spot? I, I've cried before. We're terrible actresses. No, I cannot cry on the spot. I could cry right now. Do it. I need to see a tear fall. <laughs> Get the. I can't cry, man. It's I know pressure. you're a liar. I can cry. You, 
What I just said, you proving my point. Lying again. Because you about to hurt my feelings. Lying bro. again. Because you know what? No, I can't cry right now. I know you can. But we do need to start crying on camera, bro. All right, all right, all right. But before we get into the Carisha... Uh, Risha Roulette. Ty, what are we drinking today? Because we finna cut up. Yeah, I see. It's, oh, it's Lord, kicking have mercy. in. I love it. It's giving <laughs> rich auntie vibes. So we gonna call this the rich auntie spritz, okay? Ooh. Just in time, all right? So this one we have either tequila or vodka. Uh, we have some grapefruit juice. We have a little bit of lime juice. We have some hibiscus and rose syrup. And then we have it topped with some cactus sparkling water and then a sparkling uh, rosé. And then we've garnished it with an actual hibiscus hibiscus flower and that was kind of like sitting in that rose syrup so it's kind of all blended together and this is giving rich auntie vibes y'all and that's exactly what i am so okay i love it i like it too this episode is sponsored by bitter help What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And we are here to tell y'all about BetterHelp.com. If you've thought of giving therapy a try and you're unsure, this is your sign to start it today. Yes, you absolutely have to get BetterHelp. Y'all know Lex and I have been using BetterHelp for years now, and it has helped our lives tremendously. One of my favorite things about it is that it's so easily accessible. You can use it on the go from the app on your phone, or you could do it in the comfort of your home on your computer. And on top of that, it's so affordable, y'all. Yeah, so you're going to get 10% off of your first month. So if you thought that, I want to try it, but it might be a little too expensive, we're making it super easy for you. So go to betterhelp.com backslash poor minds. That's better, H-E-L-P.com backslash poor minds and get 10% off of your first month. Period. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Poor Minds today to get 10% off of your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Poor Minds. And let me just say this. Um, I just want to have a moment to give Ty her flowers and shout out to Ty because I went... Um, Looking thick in them jeans. By the time this episode drops... <laughs> <clears throat> By the time this episode drops, uh, she would have had her baby. Uh, shout out to Armani C. Oh, yeah. She's a friend of the show. And hey, a lot Armani. Of time, love me some Armani. And I me went to too. her baby shower, and Ty was bartending. And you know what? This is what I love about Poor Minds, because I feel like people that um, work for us, I like for them to have more opportunities and grow in their business. And I feel like everybody that comes in here, they love the drinks, and they love Ty. So it was, and I know this is the first time you've been booked from us. So, I mean, before you even met us, you was doing your own shit. So, I'm just happy to see your business growing. Because I was like, what is Ty doing here? And she had me drunk, too. Yeah. Oh, I will. We know that. All right, all right, <laughs> all right. But, yeah, it, it was it was good to see you there. And, like, Armani looks so beautiful. Yeah. I just want to shout her out because her little baby's going to be here. But, like I said, by the time this dropped, and I just really had a good time. So Shout out to Armani. Shout out to Armani. Shout out to Ty. We love y'all. We love it. Black women taking over. Period. All right, all right, all right. You want me to go first or you going to go before we get you, to these topics? You can go first. Okay, so mine says, take a shot or we'll say sip. Take a sip if you ever spit in someone's food or drink. Why are you looking at me? I haven't, but I have a story about it. You want to know? Oh, well, maybe that's why I, I thought it was you. It was your story. Never mind. That's why I picked no, you that card. No, you don't story. It was. I've never told you the story that I'm about to tell you. Tell me. I'm about to tell it. But what? Did I spit in somebody's drink or food? Damn. <laughs> whole ass nigga. Let me take a... Tell me the story. Well, okay. So I always talk about how I used to work... <laughs> I used to work at TGI Fridays, right? So y'all know, it was a lot of like... It was a mixed... Um, it was mixed in there. The employees were mixed. It was blacks and whites. and. No, when the black people that I worked with would get mad at a guest, because y'all, you know, customer service is a very hard job. Let me yeah. say, I worked in customer service for years, and I will say, like, I just, I just can't believe that people in the world are like that. You know, like, they would treat me like I was beneath them. You know what I mean? And so when I had a customer that would come in and be nice to me, I was just so grateful, because it's like, we're humans. You know what I mean? So the frustration, I would understand that. But when the black people would get mad, we would just come back to the back, man, fuck them, man. Like, fuck them, they left me $2. Fuck them whole ass niggas. Like, we just be back there cursing up a storm. 
when I tell you the white people used to be different, they used to be fucking different. Okay. So I remember one time this guy I worked with his, I don't want to give away his name. I'm not going to say his name. He used to call me sugar tits. He was older. He was an older white guy, older white guy. I was like 23. He was like 38, 39. He used to call me sugar tits. Hey, sugar tits. This is when I had big titties. He was like a trashy, like, you know, I, I hate to say trashy, but he was, you know, I was, a, you know, whatever. We all had, but that's what he was. And I remember he had this guest who was just running him rampant. They kept, can I get ranch? Can I get a refill? Can I get this? When I ask somebody for something, like a waitress, I always try to ask for everything I need at once so you don't have to run back and forth. But Same. this person was running him ragged. They was. Y'all, when I say I saw him walk back and he took their drink and he spit in it and he mixed it up. And I was so shocked. I was so fucked. I was like, Oh my God. Cause you hear about stories like that, but I actually saw seen it. Oh my God. I was so like, what the actual fuck? I never seen it myself, but I used to be friends with this girl that worked at Chick-fil-A. And she used to tell me how, like, and she worked at the drive-thru. So she would be like, when customers would come through and they would get into it with the customers and stuff, like she had this one coworker that if a customer was talking to her crazy, she would lick their bun. Bun? The bun? The bun. So they couldn't even tell. She would lick the bun. Because them buns be shiny. Then put the pickles, the cheese, the chicken filet. Oh, my God. And then put it together and put it in that little uh, foil bag. Oh, my God. It's, it's getting absorbed. You got to think about the, the humidity in them bags. Oh, that bacteria nigga. really festering. I mean, it's all up in there. Mm-hmm. Real nasty. But, yeah, she was like, she had a co-worker that used to do that. Anytime a customer would talk to her crazy, she would lick their bun. Now, I like my buns lick. <laughs> I like my buns <laughs> lick, too, but, but not, not like that. Buns. Not that bun. I will say this. and people By a think, stranger? People think I'm crazy for saying this. I guess it's because I used to work customer service. I can get bad service. I'm still going to tip you well, or I'm going to still be nice. Now, I don't let people walk all over and be me and be crazy, but... You never know what type of day somebody had. And when I say I'm fucking blessed, I am very blessed. Like, if I wake up and have a bad day, it's something that's going on with me personally. I You got to realize a lot of people that are working these jobs, they're either living paycheck to paycheck. You know, they're getting tips. They live off of their tips. So you don't know what this person is going through. I mean, they don't know what I'm going through either. But you know what? Like I said, I'm blessed. It's a lot of things I could be stressed about that I'm not. Right. The things I'm stressed about, I will. I want to be on this side, you know. So, I always treat people well. I give them tips because I don't want my buns licked. I don't fucking want my not buns today. Licked. Not today. So guess what? Hey, welcome to Chick Fil A. Well, how you doing? Well, I get God damn it, you look beautiful today. Ms. I Taylor. agree. I'm the same way. And I heard about that story at a young, like at a pretty young age. So yeah. I, I feel like that has a lot to do with why I always treat servers really nice. Yeah, too. I mean, you treat people with. I think you're like we're both. Well, that's like just that. the type of person I yeah. am in general. Like I was raised that way, but I think that even after finding that out, I've taken even more care mm, to make yes, sure yes. that I treat people nicely because I don't want nobody doing that to me. I mean, I've had people treat me so... Licking my bun is nuts. I don't lick, don't my, lick bun. my bun. You seen them? Bun? You will lick my bun? I might do a little one, too. I will probably lick your bun, too. But we... <laughs> talk <laughs> We got to make it through. All right, my bad. Think. Okay, so now it's time to get to the first topic. Oh, my God. What? We haven't even started. Oh, I got to do my, I gotta do my Risha roulette. Uh, my bad. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. This is giving Wind Down Wednesday. I love, I love a solo I think, I think we should take a real shot for these. But Ty can put a little juice in. Look at Ty. <laughs> 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 I'm talking about eating that watermelon. We all relaxing. I love when we have to have a That watermelon. See, Tommy on her P's and Q's she on the do. She over there big chilling, getting them buns licked. Oh, sorry. Um, okay. All right. <laughs> go ahead. Go Take ahead. a shot if you ever let a nigga finger ride you. Finger ride? What's a finger or ride? Or if you a nigga, or if you <laughs> a nigga that likes fingers in your ass. Wait, 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 wait. Finger ride? Like, that means a nigga finger you, like, you riding his fingers? Or are you a nigga? Oh, my bad. Wrong question. <laughs> what you mean, wrong question? 
Cause we not a nigga that like a fing like to finger ride. I mean, you might have let a nigga ride your finger. He, no, have he, he rode it? it? But I definitely fingered a nigga booty before. Did he ride? Feel like the way he like, rode. He, he was throwing it. He was throwing it back a little bit. Oh. He was like, I can do it, bitch. I can do it, son. I can do it, whatever, <laughs> however you want. <laughs> I'm lucky. He it rode so it. Good. He can't wait to try me. That's what he was doing. Okay, this is a good one. Okay, okay. I was trying to stop. This is a good one. You could get one. I found one. Okay. That was funny though. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. Give me, give me what, some. What do you do? He can't <laughs> wait to try uh, 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 me. Eh, eh, eh. Tierra. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> okay. Come on now, dog. Come on, come on. Take a shot if you ever use someone else's toothbrush. The fuck? I feel dirty as fuck, but Yes. I'm not trying to be funny. Oh my God, I need a watermelon. A what? A watermelon. That's how my mama say it. A watermelon. Okay. I need a watermelon juice. Let me just say this before we get to the topics. I've Little never juice. used somebody's toothbrush before. It was an accident for me, though. It wasn't not an accident. I just didn't Oh, you just tooth. dirty. I'm not dirty. I didn't <laughs> have my toothbrush. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't... If we swap and spit, swallow and nut, all this stuff, we can share a toothbrush. No, I don't like that. We can't now, share. Now, it's not... I didn't do it because, oh, we... Always share a toothbrush. I was just like, I needed a toothbrush. It was like I was at his house. We were like, we decided to wake up and go to brunch. And I was like, you know, I can just throw my hair up, but I needed to brush my teeth. Mm -hmm. So I had to brush my teeth. Mm -hmm. I do. I was licking them balls. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. If we. You don't like what? What's the problem? I don't like that. Why? That you just randomly use the nigga. It toothbrush. wasn't a random nigga. It wasn't a random nigga. I didn't nigga. say it was a random nigga. I said, I don't like that you randomly used a nigga's toothbrush. I needed it. Would you rather me go funk mouth? Yeah, I would rather you go home and use your own. I wasn't going home. Where was you going? To Not brunch. going home when you didn't have a toothbrush is crazy. But I wasn't close to my house. I wasn't close to my house. The crazy thing about you is that you tried to shame me for going out to smoke hookah after the crab boil. But you was out here using niggas' toothbrushes so you could go to brunch? You are yes. a nasty bitch. I done sucked that dick. He done all, whatever he got is already in me. You going to the local Medusa smelling like a juicy crab I didn't say, special I is didn't, not the same. Bitch, I didn't say the club. What I said was a lounge. Like, I wouldn't go to Medusa. I would go to Octopus Kitchen. Still bad. Niggas in there shaking ass. That food nasty already. So, oh, so you going to blend in. <laughs> you going to blend in. They don't know if that's the kitchen or you. Is that Drea or is that my plate? But I can promise you when you went to brunch, they knew it was you. I didn't stink. I brushed my teeth. No, you was probably stinking because you had a mixture of bacteria. No, he didn't have no bacteria. <laughs> teeth was real clean. A little clean. bacterium. See? See how you do? No, how do you do? I brushed my teeth. I brushed them. I brushed them. I done swap his tongue been in my mouth. He done spit in my mouth before. That's that back. Oh, oh please, bitch! You know you get spit in that mouth. You ain't la la. I want you to. I did. I I have never said that I did not get spit in my mouth. What I'm saying is, what? I took a shot because I brushed my teeth with somebody else's toothbrush before because I got the colors confused. Like I was at my nigga house and we had two toothbrushes. What color was his? His was like blue and mine was purple. So and you I think that nigga was using a purple toothbrush? You picked up the blue on purpose, nasty bitch. You want me to be, you want me to be gang gang with you so <laughs> bad. Cause why would he I have- I would take my juicy career fingers over a tongue. But let me with say, okay, one more thing from another nigga. On. The first- But why do you be using niggas toothbrushes? Cause I need, I did it one time. It's strict in here. It is. I used it one time. I needed to brush my teeth so I could go eat me a little. I can't get no fish and grits, bitch. Did the fish taste the same? <laughs> <laughs> get into this topic. Okay. My bad. 
Cause we doing like, no, we doing one topic, then we gotta move on. Okay. <clears throat> Which one you wanna do? Man, just one or one. two. Uh let's do two. Let's do two. Okay. So I wanna talk about love versus pride. Because mm, I was reading a book recently, and the book basically said that like you cannot truly love someone and have pride. Like people that are truly, really deeply in love without conditions, without restrictions. All of these things, they um, they love each other and they have no pride. Yeah, I agree. Okay. I feel like this is the first time in my life that I ever been in love with somebody and I don't have no. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Mm-hmm. Why would you smile at me like that? Cause yeah, you love my bro, my bro, my bro, that nigga, my homie. I'm trying to cry. Anyways, so yeah, this is the first time in my life that. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for the tear to fall. It's not coming. Just keep talking. Okay. So, this is the first time in my life that I ever felt like I love somebody, like, and I have no pride. Like, I'm never embarrassed about anything. Like, I'm not embarrassed to cry. I'm not embarrassed to act a fool. I'm not embarrassed to throw a fit. The queef. <laughs> oh, I was. Actually, I was. <laughs> See, y'all be having to be careful what I say because I'm about to say I am you. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go ahead, go ahead. But no, that's that's real. And can I just interrupt? I you ain't embarrassed the queef though. Well, no, I'll say queef this. ain't gonna happen. But it shouldn't happen often because why that much air in your pussy? Dick little, but that's a different. Yeah, thing. But I'll say this. With this all, jo- all jokes aside, just for one second, let me pause you for a second because I know everybody knows, like, oh, Lex is a lover girl, but it is so beautiful to see you be in love. No, I'm serious, and I'm not joking because this is how I know love is real. I always say love is something that you can't really explain. It's just a feeling, and sometimes it just hits you. But when you really experience love, you cannot control it. You can't do nothing about it, and it's just like – out of all my friends, like, you're the only person out of my friends who's not a lover girl. But I think it's because you never experienced real love. And I used to always tell you that. And I don't you, think that's why. Uh, 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 let me finish. I, I felt personally, I could be wrong, but this was just my personal opinion. I felt like you had never experienced love. So, like, real love. And I'm not saying that maybe... I never felt like you gave somebody love and they gave you love. And I think when I experienced that, I experienced real love at a very young age. I did. <laughs> but. I'm sorry. What? What? I don't know. I'm just like, this is how I know something is wrong with me. Because I wish you would have never told me that. No, but I mean, we've talked about no, this. I'm talking about you not you using that man's <laughs> Why is we still t- because, Now you looking at my know, Every time you talk, I just like get like a visual of the bacteria. Like, let's get it crunk up on this. <laughs> like flying over here to me. Girl, shut the <laughs> fuck up. <laughs> it's like Ooh. I see them. That bacteria <laughs> is not, that's gone. That's been like eight years ago. Okay. But anyways, <laughs> but no, I say like the love versus pride thing. It's very, very real because I think it happens in different stages in people's lives, right? So I feel like for you, like I am enjoying this because I feel like you're finally understanding and you're getting it because I feel like, mm. I mean, I'm not I'm not putting your business out there at all, but I feel like. No, you can't, you can't, no, you can't no, put no, it not. out there a little bit. Yeah, yeah. No, the men that I saw <laughs> you bit. deal with, it was always on some shit like. They was cool, and you loved them for a person, the person who they were. I like them. Yeah. Well, no, I'll say this because people, like I said, you can't define love. This is Mm. why I always say you can't define love. People say love is tangible and X, Y, Z. Okay, that's your opinion. My opinion on love is, like, you cannot explain it. So it's like, I love a lot of people, but love looks different. My love for you is different than my love for Ty and my love for Thad and my love for Shay. Everybody, I love everybody in different ways. It's the difference of how I love my sister and I love my nephew, Mm -hmm. how I love my man. But it's all love and it's hard to explain. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't love Ty because she's a bartender and what the things she does for me. 
You know what I'm saying? It's like, I love her as a person. So it's like, when you say, why do you love Ty? Or why do you love Shay? Or why do you love this person? It's like, you can't really explain it. So to see you actually, and I know you love your friends and you love your family, but experiencing romantic love is different. So now to actually watch you experience romantic love, this is the first time in my life I've seen you put your pride to the side. And that's how I know you're in love. Because you used to always ask me, we got into it when you were dating your ex and you were like, I was like, you don't love him. You're like, yes, I do. I love him, Lex. And First of all, bitch, I ain't got no list. Why would you say? Because was like, I love. You say, yes, 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 I do. I don't Yes, fall. I do. Is, he's my man. He bought this. He got me a Sunnel. He got me the Dolce and Gabbana. I'm just playing. No, you didn't say that. But oh, bitch, because I don't sound like that. I know. I'm just playing. I can't do the real impression of you. No, you can. No, because you got mad at me that time. But you can do it. Okay, Lex. I love him, and you wouldn't understand because he's taking care of me, and this is different. You don't get it because you know. I'm that bitch, and he realized that I'm that bitch. That's what you say. No, me. you said that. Bitch, you be saying that. You said that. I, I don't say Drea, stuff you like said, that. You said, I'm that bitch, and he knows that I'm that bitch, and he ain't never fucked with a bitch like me. <laughs> I never said that. Oh, on God. <laughs> on God, you said that. He ain't never fucked. Because it was a time in your life. I'm maybe, not, maybe I'm not I said, putting you on maybe I, maybe I said that off camera. You said it on camera. Because I am that bitch. <laughs> but pause. I don't say stuff but, like that. Okay, no, 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 Let me say this, Drea. You said that at this time because... But I mean, niggas do know the vibes. But though. what I'm saying is you... I told you this. I said you have to realize it's going to be more than your looks while somebody really loves you. Because you used to be, like, like kind of caught. I mean, we were young, though. Let me say that. We were young, so I'm not saying that. Like, But it was a time you felt like, I'm so bad, a nigga never going to do me wrong. I'm so bad, a nigga never. You know what I'm saying? So, hey. but point still, still remains. But I mean, you know what I'm saying. So, but this was the this is the first time I'm seeing you actually being forgiving, giving someone grace and understanding that nobody is perfect. But I do feel like... I have no pride as far yeah. as, and when I think of pride, I more so think of being honest with people. Mm. Like, yeah, I think when people have pride, you don't really, really, you don't really want to tell people how you feel. Mm -hmm. You don't really want to tell them what's really going on in your okay. mind because you think you're going to look stupid. Okay, I feel that. Or you think they're going to use that against you. I feel that. But when you really love somebody, you don't care. Or you might not even want to show the emotion that you feel. Like, right now, your feelings might be hurt. You might want to cry. But you're like, no, I got to keep that shit in. Bitch, please. <laughs> yeah. You cannot cry on the spot. You need to go to some classes. <laughs> if I was sober, but keep going. But no, for real, like, it's like, a nigga could say some shit, hurt your feelings. You might want to cry in that moment. Even with your friends, it just goes with anything. Because this is not just directed solely towards romantic love. It mm -hmm. could be love in general. Like, I just feel like real love between human beings, like, it's no pride. It's no pride. You can show your friends how you really feel. You can show your man how you really feel. You can show your parents how you really feel. Anybody that you're close to. Yep. And I think that sometimes when it comes to loving people, you will love them, but you won't really want to let them know how you feel because you feel like it'll make you look weak. But to me, that's not really, like, to me, that's conditional almost. Like, pride, I mean, love with no conditions, you have no pride. you like, I don't care if I look stupid. I don't care if you think I'm, an emo I'm emotional. I don't care what you think about me and how I'm reacting to the situation. This is my natural emotion in this moment with whatever you told me, with whatever I've experienced. This is how I'm reacting, and it just is what it is. Because you know what real love is? Because real love is reciprocated. So when I know... Say it. <laughs> I was trying to get reciprocated. Because you know what? <laughs> I feel, like I said, this is the difference between... And when I say in love, it doesn't necessarily have to be just romantic. I feel That's like what I said, yeah. So Because like, I feel like if I express to you how I feel, like if you did something that hurts my feelings, I'm going to tell you. Because I know what, you're going to receive that. 
and you're going to tell me how you feel, but you're not going to be like, you know what? Fuck Lex. I'm not talking to her no more. And it's the same thing in relationships. So once you experience that, when you have to walk on eggshells, you can have love for somebody that you have to walk on eggshells, but that's not, to me personally, true love. Because there's a difference between having love for somebody and, like, being in love. No, that's not love. Because if you can't be yourself with somebody, I don't think y'all really love each other. Right. You feel like you have to hide who you are. Yep. Or only show a certain version of yourself to mm -hmm. someone, then... What are we doing? You don't really love that person. That person don't love you. Right. Or you're afraid that they won't accept you for who you are. And if you're afraid that they won't accept you for who you are, like, it's not real love. Right. I definitely agree. Because I, like I said, this is the first time that I've seen you be, like... You don't have no pride. Like, you just be like, because... Bitch, I know I don't. I be playing, um, what's that song? I'm trying to act like I don't want to be with you. Omarion. I was it's like just the other thing. Yeah, I know. You was in your room singing. No, I would hold a boom box out the window. You was like a Shanti. Looking out my window. Knowing that I should go. Even. I pack my bags. Something, something always wants me back. That's how I be feeling. Because I be packing my bags. And don't be going nowhere real Some, fast. Because something always holds me back. Because I have no pride. <laughs> and you know what's crazy? That's how I know. Like, I be loving people, but I know when I'm in love versus I got love for them and I'm having. I do. I do be. <laughs> I'm sorry. I do. You know, but you know why I say that? Because I be having pride. Do you? When it when it came to Rapper Bay, I was in love with him. And I had no shame, no pride. Like, if he stopped calling me, I'm going to pick up the phone and I, I was going to call. Like, the dude I was dating last year, like, I loved him. I had love for him, but I had pride there. There was a lot of pride there. That's why I say, I know the difference between being in love and having love for But that's somebody. what I was going to say. That's a different situation. We're talking about... In love. Yes. When I'm in love, there's no, I don't give a fin. You, finuk is crazy. Because why would you say that? Isn't that what two shot it took some real good pinnug? And if that shit stank, then she need to dinnug. Y'all remember that guy? I don't want no, I don't want no penis that's gonna make me dinnug. That's what two chain said. Thank you, Javi. Javi had my back. But anyways, like I said, that's why I can decide. That don't mean as much as you thought it meant. Javi name ho weight in these streets. I love play you. Does Javi be side eye worthy sometimes? <laughs> <laughs> Come on now, dog. Don't do my dog, Javi, like that. All I'm saying <laughs> is, I know we know the difference. Real love, no pride. Let's move on. <laughs> don't be trying to shade Javi. I'm not shady. She was being shady, Javi. You talking about ooh, Javi City? He because he knew the song I was talking he about. He did didn't know the song. But Javi, Javi a player. And he and then not he from. Said, mm -hmm. <laughs> so he just proved my point. Man, let me sit. So up. you didn't prove your point like you thought you did. No, which is what I, I was, was saying. I was saying I, I the reason I said Finnuck was because of two chains. Mm -hmm. Anyways, bitch. Now, now it's time, time to get, get into, into the big. Ow. The big. Bow. The big. Bow. 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 All right. So for the bed today, I wanted to talk about how casual sex ruins intimacy. And let me tell you why I changed my mind about this. Because y'all know me. I'm big horny. They call me. <laughs> they call me big. They call me big horny in the streets. No, they don't. Uh, let me just clap. <laughs> they do. No, they don't. I know somebody that call you Ooh. that. Name drop them. Name them. No, I wouldn't do that. Name them. I'm not gonna do that. Name them. I could. You watch Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? No. <laughs> no, that's what. Name them. I'm gonna show you the clip. The girls gonna pick that up. and know. But anyways, I'll say this. Okay. I I'm do know somebody it. though. Girl, no, you don't. But anyways. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> Casual? You laughing because you know I probably know somebody. No, I'm laughing because you lying more than me. That's crazy. But I'll say this. I can't wait for the vibe. Casual sex is ruining intimacy, and I 1,000% agree. And let me tell you why. Because 
as I get older, I truly believe in exchanging energies and having intimate moments. Like, I don't want to fuck. Like, I don't want to just... Like, sex is supposed to be um, something that two people are experiencing and they're rising to another level. They're, not, they're having an outer world experience. That's what sex should be. And this is coming from somebody who used to have casual sex. I don't want to have casual sex anymore because when you're having casual sex, it's not that. And I truly believe that if you're horny, I get it. We're all horny. Like, we all have emotions, men and women. If you're not involved with somebody who truly cares about you and y'all can share this intimate moment together, just use a vibrator. Beat your meat. But I just really think that, like, if you get rid of casual sex, a lot of these problems wouldn't be happening. Mm. I say that to say, I just seen a clip from um, tonight's conversation. They're on tour right now. Shout out to them. And they had a woman who stood up in the audience and was like, I fucked this nigga last week and I see him here with his homeboy and there with two girls. And she was hurt. She was upset because she was like, I just fucked this nigga. I've been texting him, whatever. And he's not answering. And now I see him on a date. But guess what? If y'all would stop having casual sex, these situations wouldn't happen. Well, I feel like casual sex more so has fucked up dating because if you're used to dealing with one person and then you go and you deal with another person, it's like you don't, your expectations are low because it's like I was dealing with this person and this person wasn't having to do X, Y, and Z, or, or they were having to do X, Y, and Z. And so then you go into another situation with another person and it's still casual, but you have the same expectations. But this person might be a millionaire and this person may, $70,000 a year. I think people always are expecting monetary or financial gain these days. And that's why I think casual sex be fucking shit up. Well, I don't even think it's about monetary gain. I think sometimes I had a conversation with you about this and I had a conversation with my best friend, Killer. These men are out here dating, okay? So if a man... Is a, it's a lot of gentlemen out here, believe it or not. It's a lot of gentlemen out here. So if a man is taking you out, opening the door, paying for dinner, making sure you straight, texting you every morning, that's cool, but that don't mean you need to fuck him and go all off, off on the edge and, and be I, like, oh, this my man, this my man. And I, This is him courting you and being a gentleman. That's what he's supposed to do. Yeah. That's bare minimum. And I agree, but I think what is fucking shit up is like girls be going fuck with a NBA player or a NFL player, that nigga take you on a first day, he taking you to, um, what's the name of that place? Nobu. He's taking you to Nobu, he's taking you to, what's that steakhouse we like, Little Alley? Little Alley. He's taking you to Nobu, he, he knew Dad, about Little Alley. Dad he, took his girl there. He's taking you we to- We put him on. He's taking you to Nobu, he's taking you to Little Alley on a first day. He might take you to Dior, get you some shoes real quick. Not real quick. He like. might take you to Tom Ford, get you some shoes real quick on the first day. And then you go on, you shit don't work out between you and that nigga, but because you've been exposed to that, now on your next day, you're like, oh, this is what this nigga needs to do for me. I, and if he can't do this for me, then I'm not fucking with him like that. Even if you like everything else about him. Oh, okay. Now I see where you're going. Even if you like everything else about him, he's a he's he's attentive. Mm. He has a great personality. Mm. He loves God. He has a great relationship with God. He has a great relationship with his mother. Mm -hmm. He has all of these amazing things. He has his own apartment. He pays his own bills. He has an honest job, honest living. But because he can't do for you what this other nigga did for you on one day, you never dated that nigga outside of that one day because all he wanted was some pussy, just hypothetically. Right, but that's so stupid. Cause them, oh, but that's what's going on. That's why I feel like... Shit is fucked up but when it comes that, to dating. But that shit is really not even going on. Somebody told me recently they blame us and City Girls. I mean, let me tell you this, though. and I'm, I'm just a, being real. I'm, I'm glad you brought that Somebody up. Somebody said it to me. Because I got two points to make. First of all. I said. No, no, no. First of all, I'm not talking about that because that's not what's literally happening to the I average. That. That's not what's happening to the average woman, Drea. So you talk it's about it's not, but what wait, you wait, talk about see. on your platform makes people feel like it can happen to them. What we uh, and not just you, let me rephrase, me, us, okay. me and you. What we've talked about right. makes people feel like that's what can happen. And let me get to that. So first point, 
I'm talking about the average person because the average person is not going to Dior, not going to Little Alley, not going to Nobu. So I say all that's wait, true. But so I agree. Me, yeah. So let me say this: they not these niggas not even doing that. When a man is supposed to court you, let him court you. Just because a man is taking you out to dinner, showing interest, doing X, Y, Z in the beginning, that's what he's supposed to do. That doesn't mean you have to fuck him. That's what I'm saying. So even if he is, say, uh, the first date is him taking to the, you to Dior, is taking you to Little Alley, whatever level it's on, I don't care what level it's on. A man is courting you. That doesn't mean y'all have any type of connection. He is trying to reel you in. This is a job application, and he putting his best motherfucking face on. But I think the problem with casual sex these days is that niggas do that type of shit. They do the bare minimum, and because a woman has not experienced that before, and they be like, "Oh, I'm gonna give him some pussy because he like me." Let's be that's real. All, but that's but all let's be real. You put him on game. Let's be real though. You have been at a point before in life where you was like, oh, a nigga did this for me. He really liked me. Not realizing this is what he do for everybody because he has the financials. He has the financial capability to do so. You ate me up. You ate me up. <laughs> but and you gave that nigga some pussy. So what? <laughs> We're talking about Garfield. I'm not talking about you for real. I'm just saying, though, but you did. And <laughs> you gonna double down, whole ass nigga. I did. I had. I did too. Say that then, bitch. But you not special, <laughs> bro. <laughs> stop saying you. I feel I'm getting offended, bitch. Come on now. The point I'm making is that like it's not. It's within his. It's within his range. It's within his tax bracket to do the things that he's doing. You are not special. You just the girl for the moment. Mm -hmm. You have to tell, you have to say it to yourself that it's like, unless a man makes me his girlfriend, unless he shows me he wants to be committed to me, unless he shows me that he sees a future with me, I'm not going to give him no pussy. But just based off of the things that niggas is doing for you, I think that's what women be giving niggas pussy off of these days. And that's, and that's where bitches be fucking up because, yeah, that nigga did this for you because he like you in that moment. But then if you stop fucking with him, he gonna like somebody else. Make these niggas show you and a man and stand on business. is beyond monetary things. And that's what I, I want to say too. And then to the comment that they were like, oh, y'all preach this. Do y'all realize that- Who we, said it? The girl you was talking about. Somebody said that we preach this. I'm going to your second point. Oh, that she was the second point it. I was gonna make. This is the point I'm gonna make. We started recording this shit when I was 26, 27. I'm 34 now. I always say this. Lex P went through that, so you ain't got to go through that. When is the last? I don't talk about BDBs no more. We don't talk about oh, you a nigga supposed to do this and X Y Z. This is how I know y'all don't watch the show because when I tell you, Period. it's so. But Cause Shantae got a man at home. Shantae got a man at home, and he's so good to me. That's what she said. All right. It's sorry that <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> But I, okay, this is what I'm saying though. <laughs> you sorry that what? I'm sorry that he not at home. <laughs> Why is your nose flaring up That's like how this? I know I meant it. But I'm saying all that to say, I, me and my man, we don't have to talk about money. Now, do I want somebody who's ambitious, who have things going on? Of course. But I say all that to say, <laughs> it's not nothing casual. I didn't fuck him because he was doing X, Y, Z. It was like we had to create a bond. He had to show up for me. He had to create a safe space for me right. and vice versa. So, yes, the things I used to talk about at 27 is going to be different than the things I talk about at 34. So it's like if y'all are tuned in now today, yeah, go watch our old episodes. We saying, oh, do this, do that, do that. Man, do what works for you. But the bottom line is make that nigga work for you and for the men too. Make her bring something to the table. I think I hate to bring the table, bring something to the table conversations, but this is how relationships work. Y'all both got to bring something to the table. Mm. It does not need to be one sided. I'm tired of that. I'm. We all need to bring something to the motherfucking table. You cannot show up to the table with just dick. 
You can't show up to the table with just pussy. Mm -hmm. What else? So now I think it's time to get into... The you made a good point. I, I ate a little Didn't you want to do a lyric breakdown? Let's break it on down. We got a little time. No, oh, we really don't. We really know. So you just want to do the item. I mean, not the item of the week. You want to just Yeah, we got it. It's, it's a, I got it. <laughs> I don't wanna leave it, bitty. Leave it, bitty. Leave it, So now it's time to get into the bop. Hey. The bop. Ow. The bop. Bow. 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 Oh, shit. Oh, my God. So my bop of the week, this song hasn't even been released yet. Hopefully, by the time y'all see this, the song will drop. But let me tell y'all something about my ear. My ear a little different. I know a hit when I see one. Y'all can never make me hate her. Shout out to Sexy Red. She got a song coming out called Get It Sexy. Get It Sexy. Get It Sexy. Mm, 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 mm. I'm a favorite hoe. One thing I can fuck with a bitch about is that you being your authentic self. Mm -hmm. And Sexy Red ain't did nothing but be herself from day one, and that's why she's successful. Y'all can be mad at this girl all she want, but she know how to get in that studio and make a motherfucking hit. She do. And I'm so excited for Get It Sexy to drop. Let me tell y'all how Sexy Red carried Poor Minds last year. We could not find nothing to walk out to, and we was walking out to all her motherfucking music. She kept dropping fire hits on our ass, and the whole tour we was walking out to Sexy Red. So, Sexy Red, Get It Sexy, that's my bop of the week. I'm fucking with you. You need to come sit on the couch, queen. Amen. I love Sexy Red. You give it Sexy Red. Am I? Bend that ass over. Let that coochie breathe. Ooh. I was, was getting that my Tony. I was, no, that oh. was the alt more of an auto. I was giving my Tony breaks. Let that coochie breathe. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now, what you what you been jamming? Okay, so I feel like we gotta have a little balance. Yeah, because you're a heathen. You've been playing me this whole episode. So, um, I don't have a new song, but I've been listening to "In the Sanctuary," which is where you need to be. <laughs> <laughs> by Kurt, by the Kurt Carr singers. We lift our hands in the sanctuary. We lift our hands to give you the glory. Give you the glory. We lift our hands to give you the praise. You see, you didn't know I knew that song. And keep singing. And we will praise you for the rest of our day. We will praise you for the rest of our day. Jesus, we love Deliver. Deliver, deliver. A heathen. <laughs> okay, but so now yes, that's my that's my of the week because I have like a Christian playlist that I feel like I need to share with the people. I need to share with you first. I have them. I have my playlist. What's on my, yours? No, but I'm serious. I had one and I switched over to Spotify. I had a Zodico playlist. I have my Christian playlist. I have my Grey's Anatomy playlist. What's on your Christian playlist? Oh, my God. I can't remember. I can't remember what's on none of that shit. But I was praising God. Do you love God? I love God. I love God. God. <laughs> Get on my fucking nerves, <gasps> Don't curse when we at church. We not at church. Father, can you hear me? Not the Tyler Perry movie. Come on, not. Why is you that's the only... That's the only Christian song, the Christian song Lex know. And it's because it was in a Tyler Perry movie. Can you hear me now? Okay, so now we're going to get into our <laughs> favorite segment of the week. Pour your heart out. If you want your question answered on the show, make sure you email us at askpoorminds at gmail. I think we should only do one question. Yeah, let's do one question today, Thad, because we got to, um, yeah, we've been <laughs> chatty today. I miss you, queen. I miss you, too. Thanks, Buki. Let me read it. Cause you <laughs> I wanna make sure we ain't gonna do that again. <laughs> I go about this in the right way. I like you with red hair. You do? I, if I was a nigga, I would be like, you sucking. You trying dick. to beat? You wanna be? No. You wanna go to the bathroom? No. Ew. <laughs> You're so I'm about it, about it. 
Na 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 na. Okay, no, bitch. For real. <laughs> we almost there. I love you both so much. Thank you for the endless joy I get from listening to you and your hard work on this amazing podcast. I want to know if the BDBs you have both really liked, huh? And the men that you have been most serious with make you laugh a lot. I was talking to a guy that I really liked and thought that he liked me. He was hilarious and I made him laugh too. We could riff on each other. There was also a lot of sexual tension, flirting, and a couple of cute dates and fun makeouts. Then he started to get a little quiet on me with his texts, and one day I felt that he wasn't going to text me anymore. Mm. So I didn't reach out to him either, and here we are a couple weeks later with nothing said about why he fizzled out. I am talking to another guy, but at first impression, he doesn't make me crack up like the other one, not even close. I want to be open-minded when dating, but this has me realizing how important humor is that matches mine is to my potential relationships and kind of depressing that I'm going to have to be very patient. As I feel like it's rare to find a super funny guy who is also very attractive like that one was. How do you feel about that? Is it important to you? Do guys make you laugh out loud? I'm sorry. Do you guys, do guys make you laugh out loud? Thank you, beautifuls. Um, That's definitely important to me. I need to be with a funny nigga. Like, I need to be with a nigga that makes me laugh. Yeah, um, I feel like I realized that a long time ago because I'm goofy as fuck. Like, I am goofy as fuck. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm so, I'm so goofy. So, I need somebody who's going to make me laugh. So, I feel like if that's something that's on your checklist, like, yeah, move on. Like, stop sticking with people. Let them check. That's an easy box to check off. Niggas be funny. People be funny. You can I find think- you a funny. Uh-uh. No, but I'm saying it's easy to find a funny nigga. You think so? Not everybody is funny, but people do be yeah. funny. It's easy to find somebody who's funny. Be, uh, <laughs> but I don't mean funny with his actions. I mean, like, nigga, can you crack a joke? Uh-huh. Am I going to laugh at your jokes? That is true. And not laugh at you because you a clown. You a clown. But no, I think finding a funny nigga is easy. So <laughs> laughing is very important. Now, I'm not going to lie. BDBs, they usually don't be funny. That's what she asked about. BDBs. Funny look, funny look. They do be funny looking. But like I said. You going to laugh. You going to laugh. Not at the joke, though. Yeah, but I, I'm, okay, so I'm <laughs> in a different, though, situation. Like now, like my nigga is hilarious. Like that nigga funny. <laughs> Like, it, that nigga is so funny. Like, Dre be calling me like, what the fuck? He's unhinged. He's fucking, I never thought I would be dating somebody who's more unhinged than me. So, but that's what I you realized being met. with him. That's what I wanted. You got to realize the first time I fell in love, that nigga was funny. So I was like, oh, maybe this is something that I, that I yearn for is like a, a somebody who is just as unhinged as me. Quick question. Who's Harry Potter? And who's Malfoy? And what? And you and your man. Because you made your match. Ooh. Oh, wait. Maybe not Malfoy. Lord Voldemort. Voldemort. You know what? I think I'm Lord Voldemort. You think so? And he's Harry. He is main character energy. Mm. Like, that's why I told you, like, when I be with him, like... But yeah, I feel like if being funny is a characteristic that you like, pay attention to the characteristics you like. I can't date no serious nigga. I know you can't either. Because your nigga is unhinged too. You think he unfunny? He's funny. He funny. He funny. Don't say this. Because I told him he's unfunny all the no, time. No, he, he funny. But I mean, he not like hilarious. But he know how to crack a little one. He wine. ain't me. Yeah, he ain't you. You eat him up. I eat that nigga up. Bro, I'm glad you said this. You you was on his ass this morning. That shit was funny. But first of all, I'm a funny bitch. He be trying to play me. Not a ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> eat that nigga up. And bored in one way. Okay, I'm not you. 
All right, so make sure y'all tune in to Poor Minds every week. Y'all, thank y'all for subscribing and tuning in. I know y'all been missing the solo episode, so we had to deliver this for y'all. We had fun today. Today was a fun episode, and I hope y'all got, you know, everything you need to get. So make sure y'all go to uh, blackeffect.com. Hopefully by the time this drop, I don't know if we've done the show or not. Um, we got so much that we're working on. Y'all, when I tell y'all thank y'all so much, we haven't done this in a while. Just thank the listeners. We have grown. The platform is growing. I want to thank you for making me who I am and putting me where I need to be. I want to thank you for the opportunity to do my thing in this industry. I want to thank okay. you for calling to your local station and ask the DJ to play my song. Did you call into the local station I and ask them to play? thank you. That's why I wanna but no, for real, y'all, our platform is growing. And this year, you know, we said we're not going on tour, but we wanted to focus on being guest heavy. And we've got some amazing guests that y'all have seen and amazing guests coming up. So thank y'all so much. Y'all go to MuseBeauty.com, get your lippies, get all that good stuff. And um, we'll see y'all next week. Quick question. Oh. Would you a Bow Wow fan or a Romeo? Bow Wow, hands down. If anything... No disrespect to Romeo. <laughs> was not trying to go to ICDC. I was trying to little bow wow. You just don't know. Um, but this is before ICDC. It don't matter. Bow Wow had hits on hits until he was older. Bow Wow was 12 years old. Little Bow Wow, you just don't know. To you ain't ride and you ain't bumping like I'm bumping. You ain't saying nothing, homie. You ain't fresh as I'm is. And, Stop. and, and the song with Omarion. Let me hold you down like and the one with T Pain. When I'm with somebody, all I think about is you. When I'm all alone, that's, that's what I wanna, wanna do. Stop playing okay. with Bow Wow. Shut it's Bow. It was all. Well, no, I just wanted to know what you thought. It was always Bow Wow for me. Bow Wow. We'll see you on the show soon. Uh, hi. hi. Bye. <laughs> Bye. He says he wants you. He says he needs you. It's real talk. They wanna make him wait for you. If he really wants you, if he really needs you, really got to have you, just take your time to fill him out. When he's a good boy, a really, really good boy, why not let him lay with you? That's what he's giving to him good, dip it low, pick it up slow, roll it all around, fuck it out like your back, bro. Pop to pop to pop that thing. I'ma show you how to make your man say, Oh, pick it low, pick it up slow, roll it all around, poke it out like your back, bro. Pop to pop to pop that thing. I'm going to show you how to make your man say, oh, you're getting bold, he's growing cold. It's just the symptoms of a young love. Grow it all, I think it's time. And you're thinking of leaving, but give it time. It's late at night, he's coming home. Meet him at the door with nothing on. Take him by the hair, let him know it's on. If you understand me, I'll come on. Uh-huh, all my ladies, wind it up. If you know just how to move. How to move. Ooh. My ladies, let's jump behind. Show her what you want to do. Ooh. My ladies, wind it up. If you know just how to move. Oh, my fellas, jump behind. Show her what you want to do. Ooh. Dip it low, pick it up slow. Roll it all around, poke it out like a bag, bro. Pop to pop to pop to pop. Oh, dip it low, pick it up slow. Roll it all around, poke it out like a bag, bro. Pop to pop to pop that thing. I'm going to show you how to make your man say, oh. Period. We ate that up. Pick it low, Lex. Pick it up slow. Roll it all around. Poke it out. Like your back road. Okay. <laughs> Pop that thing. I thought it was right. our car. Right. See y'all next week. Bye, y'all.